Yet another high profile turn. Major backlash as both national senatorial committees pour money into the Mountain State. Democrats have called on the GOP now to pull a TV ad that they say stereotypes West Virginians for political gain. It's another controversy in a campaign that has suddenly become too close to call. Obama's messing things up. <laughs> Spending money we don't have. Yeah. A couple of guys Obama. sitting in a diner talking politics might seem like the average campaign commercial, but there's plenty of static when you read between the lines. According to Politico, the National Republican Senatorial Committee paid actors from Philly to portray West Virginians. A controversial casting call where they wanted a hickey blue collar look, complete with flannel shirts and beat up trucker hats. But when he's with Obama... An ad that has Democrats seeing red, claiming the GOP is perpetuating stereotypes for political gain. It insults the hardworking people of West Virginia. Uh, you know, the casting call is ridiculous. It's clear that, that this shows what John Racy and his friends think about the state of West Virginia. The NRSC has pledged to pull the ad from YouTube and is considering removing it from TV stations. But the state party chairman says... He doesn't see a problem. Republican At the end of the day, I'm just real proud of that ad because it speaks so clearly as to the issues that are important to us Virginians. Mm -hmm. And so when it comes to the casting call, we certainly had no input in that. But i got to say, those folks sitting at that diner, those look like West Virginians to me. The Democratic National Senatorial Committee has its own ad running. There are no paid actors. Instead, a direct attack on Manchin's opponent. John Racy. Pledge that protected tax breaks for corporations who ship our jobs overseas. Two very different tactics, but with the same agenda. Candidates vying for votes. It's a lot of mudslinging going on, and it's kind of a people can see through it. You know, it's not fooling anybody. And now it's this latest war of words adding fuel to the fire and leading one side to cry foul. The GOP blames the casting call and the word hick on an outside producer and says the National Republican Party did not use that word. Governor Manchin says it's an insult and says Democrats want an apology.